In this training video, we will cover the cut, copy, and delete functions found in the edit button on Song Search in version 4. Paste, which we're skipping over here, we will come back to and cover in a separate video. So let's start with a brief review of what each of these three are. And let me help us do that by making a selection here on my screen. So I've selected something over here. If we were to cut that, what it means is that we would place a copy of this on our clipboard, this mono piece of data on our clipboard, and then it would actually delete it or remove it from this waveform data on the screen. If we were to execute a copy command, it would only copy this piece of data. It would not remove it from the waveform data. And if we were to delete this, it would delete it or remove it from the waveform data, but it would not place a copy on our clipboard. So that is a brief overview of these three functionalities. When it comes time to execute any one of those three commands, one of the most important things you're going to have to deal with is to make certain that the area that you've selected is precisely what you want to cut, copy, or delete. And I would suggest the following series of steps to help you do this and to help you fine tune it. The first is to make a gross, that is to say, a somewhat inaccurate selection, but nonetheless, an approximation of what it is that you'd like to cut, copy, or delete. Once you've done that, then I would suggest that you zoom in both the beginning of that selection and the end of that selection. And by zooming in, you'll be able to see more precisely where the endpoints are for that selection, and you will be able to determine visually whether or not you'd like to move those slightly in one direction or the other. So that would be step one. Step two is once you fine-tune those selections, would be to go ahead and cut or delete that particular section. Now I've just done that. And once that action is complete, then what I would suggest that you do is zoom back in. And you have a couple of options at this point. Number one, I would put a marker right above the progress indicator because what happens when you cut or delete is the progress indicator jumps to exactly and precisely the point where that cut was made. So you know that that's exactly where that cut was made. Now you can listen back to this and you can say, aha, I didn't quite get it cut exactly where I wanted. I want to select a little bit of additional data either in front of where that progress indicator was or behind where that progress indicator was, but the point is you can use that progress indicator to know exactly where the cut is made and then you can adjust the selection either in front of it or behind it and cut a little more if you need to. So that's one thing you can do and one thing that will help you fine-tune even further what you've done. The next thing you can do, of course, is you could simply do the undo redo button. And after several clicks, that will get you back to your original screen where you had your selection made and then predicated upon the fact that you had listened to this song or this audio file once you had made the cut, you will know whether or not you're spot on or whether or not you need to slightly adjust the beginning of the selection or the end of the selection. So since you have that original selection on your screen, you can then zoom back in and based upon where that selection is, you could then go ahead and adjust the selection slightly more, again, predicated upon previously hearing and knowing that you were off slightly. So you'll be able to then essentially recreate what you previously had on the screen and then make further adjustments as necessary. And of course, you can do this one, two, three times, meaning that if you don't get it right the first time, you can continue to use undo and redo until you do get this cut precisely where you want it. One other thing I need to show you in Song Surgeon with this new version is that when you select a mono channel and then you go to cut it or delete it, watch what happens. It throws up a warning for you and the warning basically says deleting the selected section will cause the synchronization between the two channels to be lost. Do you want to continue with this operation or do you want to keep the synchronization by silencing the selection? So basically what it's saying is that if you have a song that is in stereo and you delete part of a mono track, 
what's left up here is going to be shorter than the track below it. And in that case, the last part of this song is going to be unsynchronized and it's going to sound awful, I guess, to use a word. So your option is you can have it do that or you could simply have it silence this selected section so the synchronization between these two channels stays the same and that's the option that you have here so let's watch what happens if I delete and lose sync you'll see now that the top channel the left channel is much shorter than the bottom channel and indeed if we try to play it back and listen to it it sounds like a mess and that's not surprising because you've lost the synchronization. If we do an undo, and now let's go ahead and hit the delete key again, and now let's do the selection that says silence the selection. It inserts silence here, so it maintains the sync for this last part of it. And as you can see, the alignment of these two channels or these two tracks from top to bottom is identical. So that is an additional issue that you need to be aware of and we try to help you with it by popping up that dialog window to forewarn you that you've got a couple of options there that you need to think about. So that will conclude this video tutorial on these first three functions found in Song Surgeon: cut, copy, and delete.